Whoa. <laughs> Worth it. Whoa. Okay, actually, today we're not gonna spend much time in my shop, maybe a little. We're gonna spend most of the time in my backyard. Let's go. I am turning 40 this year and I haven't celebrated my birthday in 10 years. So I think 40, I have to celebrate it. And I wanna invite my friends to my backyard because I love it here, but I wanna spice things up. I mean, it is a pretty cool setting, I have to say. <laughs> oh. So I don't have a concrete idea of what I want to do, but I know I have a bunch of materials and I want to make this even nicer. Don't want to spend any money. I don't want to spend too much time, maybe two days, and give this backyard a whole new feel for my birthday party. Let's go. So this is going to be the stage for the DJ and we might have like a band or something. And I think it would be nice to frame this a little more. Okay. To have some kind of weird structure. And this is not functional, this is pure form. Mm -hmm. I just want it to look nice. So maybe left and right. This is also, this would actually be a function if there was something here, because in the winter time, the barbecue gets all the rain. Uh -huh. There's a fridge. This is something I want to do. And then this is nice to hang out on a regular day. I think that this could also be some kind of kiosk or something. Ah, okay. So maybe extend the roof a little more and have a, maybe the, a bar or, I mean, the bar is inside, maybe the buffet? Uh -huh. I don't know, something about this space. But most important is the center of the whole backyard and that's this thing. And I, I want to do something with this because I feel it's such, it's such a nice hangout, but it is kind of boring. <laughs> yeah, I, tr I tried. <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> Maybe if we could make one thing out of a lot of little things. Mm -hmm. We have all the window cutouts from the tiny house. Oh, yeah. Like, that is really nice wood, but it's just a weird format. So maybe if we can cut something out of this. You know what we could do? What? A geodesic dome. Okay, what is it? These like triangle constructs. Ah, yeah. Because you only need relatively short pieces to make a big structure. Okay. So I think there's a recipe for this. Hold on. Let's Google this. The only thing we need to know is the diameter of the platform. 2,50. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So funny man. Uh, no, yeah. I think it's... <laughs> we should ask Brilliant if they want to sponsor this video. <laughs> Wait. I think we only need... <laughs> yes. It's wrong. <laughs> Let's just cut half and see how far we get. Perfect plan. <laughs> Looks good. Okay, so now we need to make sure that all the pieces have the hole in the same place. So I made this quick jig and now we're going to the drill. Press. Press. <laughs> <laughs> Passt es nicht? Doch, doch, es passt, weil es muss ja rund werden. Ja, ja, die Wölbung. Ja! Okay. Und dann kommt nämlich auch die Wölbung durch die Spannung. Uh. 
Uhuhu. Geil. Okay, yeah. okay, so just to... What happened? The foundational problem is that the recipe is for surfaces and not for the single pieces, right? Mm -hmm. So we figured out the single pieces, which was hard enough for us. And then we did, we drilled it. And obviously we <laughs> should have measured from hole to hole, yeah. but we measured right. from end piece to end piece. And now, but it just turned out that it looks like it's okay, but we will only know once the shape is done. Mm -hmm. So this is the kind of project that you don't want to wing. <laughs> you want to be thorough with this, but maybe we can wing it. We'll see. Hi, babies. <laughs> Baumfeld. Timber! Okay, geil. Aber der ist cool, ey. Wenn wir die Äste abmachen, können wir den echt noch so für irgendwas benutzen. Auf jeden Fall, das ist echt gut. Okay. This. This. Okay, now we should have the first shape. And if it's correct, then these, the shorter ones, Those ones mm -hmm. will meet in the middle. Hmm? Ich bin so gespannt jetzt. Yes. Oh Gott, das ist echt so richtig gut zum Nachmachen, das Video. <lacht> da wölbt sich doch schon was. Da wölbt sich schon voll was. Ich muss kurz was erledigen. Okay, ciao. <lacht> <lacht> hey, wirklich? Ja. Okay. Oh. Ich glaube, sie lang Laura weg. Nein, wir kriegen Lange. das hin. Komm, wir machen das jetzt. Wird richtig geil. Ähm okay. <lacht> Eigentlich ist es gar nicht so spaßig. <lacht> okay, komm, zurück an die Arbeit. Okay, ich würde das jetzt hier annehmen und ihr könntet hier vielleicht noch so. Ah ja, guck mal. Ah, na ja. <lacht> Hier stimmt was nicht. Es sind nur vier Längen und das ist einfach der komplette das Chaos. Das ist Chaos. Hier ist ein A1er. Das kann keine Spitze sein, das muss gedreht werden. Der hier muss hier eine Verbindung haben. Oder? Bin ich jetzt falsch? Nee, ich bin glaube ich falsch, ne? Okay, what we thought was an easy one day build. It is day two, by the way. Turned into this massive brain fuck. <laughs> and now we require the whole team to figure this thing out because we confused two lengths or something. I don't know. We have to we have to color code it and start again because this is not making any sense. We're taking everything apart except the pink ones. The pink ones are the only ones that are correct. <laughs> Okay, geil. So. Ich gebe dir die kurzen, ich habe die langen. Okay? Ich hätte es halt echt gern in einer Farbe gehabt. <lacht> Können wir hinterher noch ansprühen. Komm, Team, einmal kommt, einmal zusammen. Wir müssen das <lacht> Seid ihr bereit? Ja. Ja. Los geht's. <lacht> Felix. Hey. Wrong again. We made the same mistake. What? Yeah. <laughs> but it looks so good. No, but it's wrong. They keep breaking. There's too much tension here. Problem is, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> cool, dann. Tschüss. Ja, yeah, sorry, ey. War ein schönes Teambuilding. Smooth, okay? High five alle ab einmal, komm. Ja. Yeah. Wir brauchen den Spirit. Entschuldigung, Entschuldigung, Entschuldigung. Ciao. -i. Ciao. Have fun. Ganz gut, danke. Wo fährst du hin? Ans Freibad? Ja. <lacht> okay, Friends, we know Laura don't like time lapse, but I think it's the only option to get this done today. Let's go. I'm back from the appointment. I have another one in 30 minutes. So 
such a mind twist and the biggest team building project. <laughs> I, I honestly think we could do workshops. We could sell this to clients. Yeah, right. We could sell this as a team building course or rage management. <laughs> <laughs> We got the geodesic dome done and we kind of got inspired last minute to raise the structure and build it into this tiny igloo hut or whatever this is. So I think that's my favorite part about this project. No, my favorite part is the teamwork. It was so much fun that everybody came together and tried to figure this out because I couldn't do it by myself. And now it inspired us to make this into a whole different structure. It's obviously not done. But this is kind of the concept of the whole backyard is to start something and then just have fun with it and see where it goes organically with what we have. All right, it's a week later after the party and I can proudly say that was the best birthday of my life. So this is what we did to the, what we now call the igloo or the UFO. The side walls make this thing so incredibly cozy. Uh, and for some reason, all the kids spent most of the day here and at night you could just hang out and watch the stars. It was so beautiful. All right, so this is one of my favorite things. And then the stage, I did some work here too. These, of course, aluminum boxes, perfect for the speakers. They hold them perfectly. And watch the backlight and these four lamps because they're blinking individually, which was a lot of wiring, but I think it was worth it. And of course, we also had the fog machine. Yeah. Which is so cool outside. It's even better, I think. And the newest member of the family. Yeah. Also a big hit with the kids going down the slide and then the bubble, so it's just so nice. And now, last but not least, my favorite invention after the toast on the stick. We all know the situation. You want to have a giant disco ball, but you need a certain height to hang it. And especially in the backyard, like how would you do it? You would need wires and all these things. And also another thing that bothers me about disco balls when they have a motor, which is the coolest thing, they're never in the right speed for the music. So I built this. <laughs> it's a, you can decide how fast it goes. And also it doesn't take up any space. My 30th birthday was the first one that I celebrated in my shop 10 years ago, obviously. The 40th was the best party. And also, I loved having all these gadgets and I can't help but thinking about my 50th because that will top everything. So I have the next 10 years to prepare for 50. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed turning 40 and I will see you next week with a new video about Lieselotte. So see you then. <laughs>